What's up everyone, it's just Blaze 89 Today we're doing the best class setup for the M40A3 sniper rifle in Modern Warfare Remastered. This one's been requested by a few of you and I keep saying I'm going to upload it and I keep forgetting to do it. I've finally done it, so this one's for you. I hope you enjoy the setup and I hope it's useful to you. Before we get into that, I've got some shout outs to do. Obviously I had a bit of a messed up upload schedule last week, which I apologise for. That one won't happen again. Um, my internet went down, but anyway... So I've got quite a backlog of shout outs to do and here they are, let's get started with these. DJ Official, Local Alpha, Bang Disturbed 6195, GDK Beast, Dave M3960, Not Clutch Gaming, VJack, UK Gaming Addiction and Matty Much Love. I've just reached 300 subscribers. Big thanks to everyone for that. I really appreciate all the support. It means a lot to me. If you could help out these guys and give them some support too, I'd appreciate that. They've all supported me by subscribing just like you guys have. I'm trying to give back to them a little bit by hopefully getting them, some of you, to subscribe to them. The link will be in the description down below for all of these channels. So check it out and give these guys a sub if you can. It would mean a lot. Anyway, let's get into the class setup. Now, we're not going to go over attachments on this because obviously the only attachment you can have is the ACOG. And I don't like ACOGs. And if I did have an ACOG, it'd more likely be on one of the semi automatic snipers rather than a bolt action. Because obviously, in theory, if you're going with the ACOG, you're probably quick scoping or running and gunning. And I wouldn't advise doing that with a bolt action. I'm not great at it anyway, but it's all the harder with a bolt action than with a semi automatic. Perk 1, we're going to go with Claymores. Now the reason for that is because as I've said in my other sniper video, I don't snipe quick scoping, I snipe what I would class as like traditional sniping, how sniping it was meant was designed to be when they first brought the games out before quick scoping. I get to a vantage point, lock it down and just pick people off from a range if possible. Now perk two we're gonna go for is gonna be stopping power. Stopping power is always handy obviously on a sniper rifle because you want to get them killed with as little shots as possible. And putting stopping power on here makes it fairly reliable for a one-shot kill. As long as you keep them shots from the chest up, you should be relatively good to get a one-shot kill. Anything below the chest and it's hit and miss might be a one-shot sometimes, but as you get out to further ranges, you're probably going to need that second shot. Perk 3 we're going to go with is going to be Deep Impact. Now, on my last one, I went for Iron Lungs because I do like Iron Lungs. It holds down the accuracy with you holding your breath a little bit longer. And it is useful to you. But with this gun, due to it being slightly less powerful than the R700 or the Barrette, we're going to go with the deep impact to help carry that damage through surfaces. So you'll find a lot of the time, especially with other snipers, on certain maps like Crossfire and things like that, you'll get people that crouch down behind cars. Bog's another one for this. Or in the bus on Bog or behind sheet metal or anything like that that you can shoot through. You'll get people crouching there. And sometimes the best way to tag them out is through the surface. Or you might be trying to tag them out by hitting them, but you accidentally hit the surface. If you've got deep impact, the surface isn't going to affect the damage that you do. You'll go straight through that car or bus or sheet metal, whatever, and you'll take down the target pretty much as if it wasn't there. So it's really useful to have, especially on a gun like this that's slightly less powerful than the R700 or the Barrette. It's giving you more chance than one-shot kills when people are trying to be sneaky on you or counter-snipe against you. Now in terms of playing with this gun, as I said, I'll play traditionally. Oh, and before I forget, sidearm go with the Desert Eagle because it is a two-shot kill or three-shot at range. So it's the best sidearm to have. Normally I'd say sidearms don't matter. And if you can snatch up an enemy's weapon, then the sidearm won't matter. But for me, the Desert Eagle is well worth having. I actually unlocked it permanently with my prestige token because as I say, it's a two-shot kill or a three shot at more of a range. It's really reliable weapon and really useful to have. Now a lot of people will say to you to go with the new gun, I think it's a M, what one was it? I think it was a 44 Magnum, if I remember correctly. I'm not 100%, not I think it's 44 Magnum. It's a revolver anyway, and it is an exact clone of the Desert Eagle that it does the same damage and all that, just looks different. They are right when they say that. It does exact same damage, output accuracy, range, everything's the same. But there is a difference between the two. And that's the Desert Eagle has one extra bullet. So for me, I'd rather have that one extra bullet and go with the Desert Eagle over the Magnum. The reason being that one extra bullet could be the difference between whether you live or you die. 
you could be shooting someone you needed one more bullet to get the kill and you haven't got it if you've got the magnum if you've got the desert eagle you have got it so i'd go for that if you've unlocked it yet odds are you probably haven't if you're playing with the m40 i would imagine you probably haven't unlocked the higher level sniper rifles you don't really get a better sniper rifle than the m40 a3 until level 27 when you get the r700 which in my opinion is the best one but it's all preference on you with all these guns it's all down to what gun you find that you use best and which handles best for you so as i say in playing with it the main thing to remember is we're going to be playing at advantage getting a vantage point and locking it down hitting people from ranges the biggest tip i can give you is your claymores now when you're putting claymores down a lot of people just place them at the door and oh that'll get someone it won't nine times out of ten you've probably seen them i've seen them and you can just shoot the claymore or avoid it full stop so what you want to do you want to think about can the enemy see the claymore is the first thing when you put it down the second thing to think is don't put it so that it's facing right as he's coming i'll place it so he's going to run onto it so if i'm at the doorway i'll place it facing slightly into the building so when he comes through that door he's going to get blown up it's going to get the kill for me other than that just play at a range pick people off and enjoy the game i hope the class setup helped you leave a like if you liked the video thanks for 300 subs subscribe for more peace